I was showing that I had a higher engagement so rate. So you were real petty. Yeah, you I was, petty. Yeah, I was like, bro, you know, <laughs> something ain't, this ain't adding up. Somebody got fake followers, you know. I can't have no damn fake followers. Let's mow three follows. Y'all forgot my, that's mo, that, that, that's all mo three. That's all, I don't know how to do no damn fake follows. That's, that's people come to my page for mo three page to see what I got going on. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I wanna ask you about uh, something. I'm gonna jump subjects on you. Uh, I had uh, Vega on here, Smooth Vega. Yeah. And Smooth Vega said, you know, it came up about uh, Bumpy Johnson, mm -hmm. about you basically, he ghost managed for you. And he said, he basically. He said, you don't even know about it. And he did, and I spoke on it. But I, I don't really have an issue with him, right? You know, there was some. Because I have a relationship with Bump, right? Bumpy Johnson. I do. I like Bumpy. Yeah, Bumpy sure. comes over here and sing and go go in. Yeah, hey, man. And Bumpy's special. You don't get it fucked up. Bumpy go hard. Uh, and I actually had a label reach out to me about him recently. You know really? what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, Bumpy's aware of it. You know what I'm saying? And and we've spoken. And but you know I was doing a lot of work for Bump behind the scenes and. He didn't. He never let Rain know that I was the one kind of navigating and doing some of those things. So there were some things that were mismanaged that I had to help clean up, and that I was a little bit frustrated about. So when I finally reached out to to Rain, you know, I was like, "Hey, what's up, man? Like, you know, I want to get you on my podcast, right?" Uh, you know, he stiffed me as I was going to be this much, right? I, he, yeah, that's yeah, the way he is. I know he is, and I get it. You know, what I mean, I'm not tripping about it, but. I was like, man, hold up, like, you don't even know, right, that I'm I'm over here playing ghost manager for you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how you have the ghost writers that write the raps for the artist? I'm playing ghost manager for you. Then <laughs> listen, listen. He helped listen. you with Bumpy Johnson. How, how, and he said he was, a, I had checked him about the fact of saying he was the best manager. Yeah. And I threw you in there, you know, I throw low D's in there, I throw the ones I think about. Um, and what he say? Who, who, who he had, said he wanted to challenge you. He yeah. said he was gonna bring you on this show, uh, but you try to charge him, and yeah, he you, was gonna yeah. challenge you. Well, well, here's a boss talk 101 exclusive. Hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, even whenever I was gonna interview him, the plan was always to like, maybe it was for the viewership and just for the conversation. The plan was always to challenge him online, on TV or on screen, and be like, yeah. let's have a manager face off. You take an artist, let's go 12 months head to head and let's see who has better results. I was always gonna do that. Did y'all No, no, done? I mean, he's reached out a few times. I mean, but I mean, I don't really, at this point, it's kind of like, whatever. But yeah, I mean, but anyways. <laughs> but the challenge's still there. I mean, if he wants to lose money. How do you manage? He got some Hispanic. Uh, How many plants they got? He just got a deal the other they day. They just did a deal with uh, some company mm -hmm. in Tennessee. I don't know what's yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know about that. We don't even know what kind of company that is. <laughs> <laughs> so, listen, listen, listen. Why does he feel like, and why, did, why was he, why did he have a little it, animosity it, it, towards it's you? It's DFW. That's why I'm trying to tell y'all. You, once you're on top, they, it's, a, it's a roar to everybody try to turn you down. But are you on top right now? Yeah. Hell yeah! What makes you on top right now? Hell yeah! I, mean, I just, I, I, just, I, I just, I just made a rapper. Let me tell you this: Fredo Bank, Fredo Bank jumped on. I saw that. I seen that. I saw that. Fredo Bank jumped on Mo Three album for free. Mm. I got him paid six hundred fifty thousand dollars on a tour. Wow. I'm, I'm taking some of my young people to the tour with me. I just got Baby C seven hundred fifty thousand dollars to create. There no album ever done. There ain't nobody ever did that for one. For nobody ever did it around here. You know, at the end of the day, just tell me about the deal. I see when you, yeah. when you, when you, what was that about? What the deal that you got? With you? Yeah, you got a good album deal coming out. You got a one album deal coming out. So, uh, uh, bumpy, bumpy number two in Dallas. I mean, right now. So you know, at the end of the day, you know, people be thinking that I could just make superstars like that. That take time. It do take. You time. know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, nobody can. Can I'm making niggas checks. I'm changing niggas' lives. Mm. Ayo Key, Ayo of Key, and uh, and Black, the little light skin and dark nigga, dark skin nigga in, in uh, North Dallas. I got they going off my word that Key is the next one to blow. He, they don't even, they can't even tell me what song he got. But they just go. <laughs> they off. got my word. That's so right word. now, I love, I like the city of Dallas because right now it's easy. You know what I'm saying? But you know, at the end of the day, uh, I'm not. Let me tell you like this: at the age I'm in right now, and the kids I got. I can't go get a worldwide artist. I don't even want a worldwide artist right now. 
Cause they're gonna take away from my family. I don't wanna do that no more. You know what I'm saying? Me gone. I, I, Is it important for you to be there for your kids? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So me gone all week, two weeks, and and getting the artists that's so hot that we gotta move to Miami and can't be here. And I got a, I got a, I got a daughter that I gotta help take school every day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I can't do that. But as long as my checks coming in, as long as I'm making money and helping niggas change lives, I'm satisfied with that. I don't want to be number one in Dallas, Texas. At all, don't put me in no category. Don't put me in no. Don't the gatekeeper list. Don't, I don't care about that because at the end of the day, people will expect you to change. The, people will believe in you more than they believe in God. Mm-hmm. Now so, I see why Sean Cotton say that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, they expect so much from you when they put you in their watch car. Now it's the base of who did that pedestal. Yeah, fuck that shit. Let me make my millions in peace. No, that's real. You know what I'm saying? I like it. So you know, uh, uh. You know, I was reading the comment while ago. What do you do outside of Mo Three? I I don't want to do nothing else outside of Mo Three because at the end of the day, it, it, you know, said that was my that was my calling from God to come down here and tell get his story out. Yeah, yeah. So I, I still got albums coming out. I still got movies coming out. So my base concern is Mo Three to tell tell their story. With my partner Roy Lee, but you know, on the side, I'm still gonna give people chicks. You know what I'm saying? I'm still gonna help people out and give people checks. I'm still gonna do this. Um, the way I'm putting out this nigga Mo Three album right now, every every video is a short a short movie. So at the end of the day, it's not. It's, sometimes you gotta understand they sell, bro. You gotta, bro, to be a superstar is hard. It's not easy. People think you just blow up overnight. It, it's like hard. That. Like it's not, bro. It's nothing. It's okay, a lot of work. okay. When I talk to, uh, to go to the look, look, uh, when I talk to Smooth Vega, he said it'd take at least fifteen years. I think he said to get an artist where they need to be. Nah, yeah, nah. That's too long. It take three. Didn't he say fifteen it years? Me, it take mm-hmm. me two years. I did that with Bumpy in half a year. Bumpy went from with his help. Bump, he, no, he did. What, <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> you, oh, we didn't never, he say that? We never discussed what he did, right? No, what did he do? What did he do? He said he helped. He was already grinding. No, 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 no. He helped what? He didn't really go into detail. But no, no, said. this is what he did. Bumpy wanted the song out, right? I didn't want the song out. Bumpy called him to try to help him get to register the song. Bumpy put out the song. He came on here and said, I had to help Rainwater with the song, by far Bumpy's biggest song that, that to this day that he done came out with, right? That was a song with him and Boosie. I didn't want the song to come out. I wanted another song to come out, then Boosie. So they put that song out first that really didn't do nothing. Then I came back and told Bumpy, go redo Diamonds Against the Wood. They Bumpy spent this amount of money, twenty some thousand dollars for Boosie, and this and that, and, and paying people for promotion, it did nothing. What I was trying to pr- prove to Bumpy is, fucking with me, you don't need no money. Stop chasing a dollar. Wow. What did you? I don't give a damn about you registering the song. Keep it freezing so when we sign, they uh, it's untouched money. Chase the dream, not the dollar. He was trying to teach him that. Yeah. So he cows. So he would. Me- so Vega was kind of messing up what you was trying. What to I was tra- trying to do. Because you don't know no better. Because y'all have two different concepts. We got two different concepts. Yeah. They chased the dollar. I chased the dream. I so right now I could took bump into about four different labels. Hey, bro, I got untouched money right here. You know what I'm saying? We don't know nothing about all that. We just, we've been chasing the, the dream. But do you think when he says? And so, and so when he come out with the booster song, that, man, what the fuck is you doing? Who talked? Move Vega. Oh yeah, you goofy. Cause I, cause I dropped slang and iron for free. Then we could have came back with the boost song. Now Bumpy would have been a superstar. He fucked over what I had going on. Well, he also alludes to the fact that your 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 followers and subscribers is fake. But no, I mean to answer the question or to not steer away from it. I stand by what I said. Like I don't think he could see me. You know what I mean? But but, right but that's, 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 that's Bumpy y'all good. I no, yeah, I mean, you, you him man. Hey y'all, hey y'all, y'all dope man. Low nah. easy. It's some dope look. It's I, some dope managers, I'll man. Say, I'll say this about Rain, and you know because I felt like uh, you know I didn't want him to think oh he's using my name for cloud because he went on this whole thing about how he has more followers and this and that and then I started like because you didn't I don't know if you were watching the shit I was actually doing on Nuh-uh, IG, uh-uh. bro. I was pulling his numbers.
numbers. I was pulling my numbers. I went onto like the social media engagement calculator. I was showing that I had a higher engagement so rate. So you real petty. Yeah, you I was, petty. Yeah, I was like, bro, you know, <laughs> something ain't, this ain't adding up. Somebody got fake followers, you know what I mean? <laughs> so you say Ray got fake followers? I, don't know, I can't have no damn fake followers. That's more three follows. Y'all forgot my, that's more, that, that, that's our more three. That's our, I don't know how to do no damn fake followers. That's, that's people come to my page for Mo3 page to see what I got going on. That was a big, Mo, that was a big deal, so I know my, you. My, my name's still in his bio. We ain't touched his bio. That's from, that's, that's back from before you Mo3, really? that's back from Mo, before Mo3 died. Nigga, I don't got no damn fake followers. I ain't you know, I ain't you know how to do fake followers or fake views. Nigga, if, I, if anything around me fake, my name would been died out. Yeah, like y'all, they have been trying to tell everybody I'm not this, I'm not that. I'm not. Y'all niggas probably better than me, know everything about me, manager, know this, know that, know this, no, I understand. Y'all know all the shit. Uh uh, you Bob Supreme, all you niggas, y'all do know, y'all know everything better than me. Right? Y'all know everything better than me. It just I'm led by God. Man, <laughs> that's who you need to be led by. So everything that y'all do, everything that y'all say, you right. Y'all you, probably better managers than me. Y'all probably this and that, this and that. I'm led by God. I don't go by y'all books and rules and how y'all do things. That's real. I, you know what I'm saying? No, that's hard. I, 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 God, you can't I, go wrong. I don't go by that. I don't go by that. So at the end of the day, I don't go by that. So, you know, I heard Bob Supreme say, anybody can manage Mo3. Mo3 said, when I met Rain, the rap wasn't in my brain. We selling CDs like co crack cocaine, bitch, we changed the game. I don't go by none of this shit y'all went by. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.